Hello everyone, this is Casey with Light Scene Effects, your Lumidesk dealer. I want to do a quick video on a feature that you might or might not be familiar with. Uh, it is the import scene fix, uh, feature and it can save you a lot of time and uh, aggravation. So what it's for is to, with the import scene feature, you can grab recorded scenes that you've made in a different show file and import them into your current show file. So here I've got four um, Alation Platinum Moving Heads patched and I've got four Mega Tripar uh, Parkans patched. And as you can see, there's no uh, scenes created for them. So um, in my situation, I usually have, I, I have a handful of shows created uh, using different features, different fixtures, different um, setup scenarios, you know, maybe the uh, park hands are hanging on a truss, uh, maybe they are set up uh, in a straight line on top of totem, truss totems, um, all kinds of different scenarios. I've got several different shows uh, created for. And uh, in those different shows, sometimes I'm using an effect laser, sometimes I'm using park hands, sometimes I'm using scanners, whatever the case may be. Um, and, it, you know, sometimes I might need to do something custom on the fly or I want to add a particular fixture to a setup to complete it or whatever. Um, but the old way, without the import scene fixture, I would have to patch that fixture and create all the new scenes from scratch. So uh, this way I can uh, mix and match my scenes that I have already spent time recording into a new show file and uh, and it just it just prevents you from having to recreate and do double work so like I said as you can see there's nothing recorded here I want to go and I want to grab uh, some scenes for my platinum 5R so you open the uh, you click on import scene and then you navigate to the file that you want to access and then it lists all the cues on the left hand side that are contained within that show file. So I want to import all of my moving head scenes. So I'm going to click that, click the double arrow over to the right. And as you can see, it grabs it over here. And then click import. And you can see down here below, now I've got a whole list of different scenes for my moving heads. Okay. So now I want to do the same for my Megapar profiles. I want to grab uh, those scenes that I've already spent time recording and uh, get them over here. So let's say I go to um, we can go to a different show file and it shows this is a totally different show file. And uh, I'm going to drag these make a tripod over here and then import and then it creates a new queue list, a new queue for each one so you can see. So now I've got something to work with. All right. And you from here you can make any changes, additions, whatever you want to, but this allows you to pull in your work from other show files into a new show and that way you're not starting from scratch. Now the trick is that if you want to do this your fixtures have to remain patched the same uh, DMX addresses. Um, you can't have different DMX addresses and 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 it just carry right on over. So your fixture uh, DMX addresses have to be the same uh, from show file to show file. Okay so in other words all your moving heads, all your platinum 5Rs have to be addressed 1, 18, 35, and 52. And then all of your mega uh, tripar, you know, your park hands have to be addressed 73, 8. And for me, that's not a problem. I'm not usually changing the addresses uh, for the fixtures very much. Um, I, I, I keep them separated out so I don't have to do that so I can leave them set at whatever DMX address, and then I just mix and match between the show files. So that is the import feature for LumaDesk. If you have any questions, post or comment, 
And if you're interested in LumaDesk, please visit our website. We are a LumaDesk dealer at lightscenefx.com. Thanks for watching.